Hey, what's up guys? It's Texumer talking to you here, and in this video, I think that we should talk about the iPhone 12 Pro versus the iPhone 13 Pro that is coming next month. And I think that's an important conversation because there will be a lot of people trying to decide between saving costs and buying the iPhone 12 Pro or spending a little bit more and going for the newer model, the iPhone 13 Pro. But before we compare them both, roll the intro. So, the iPhone 12 Pro came out on October of last year, on 2020. The iPhone 12 Pro was an amazing phone, I still use it and I use it to record all of my videos. The camera is amazing, the design is new, features a new design and redesign that came out with the iPad Pro 2018, making the iPhone squared off instead of round off, like the iPhone 11 Pro. It was a little bit of a downgrade in terms of battery life when compared to the 11 Pro, but the A14 was much, much more powerful and the screen, in my opinion, was better and bigger too. It started to have a 6.1 inch display instead of the 5.8. And I love this 6.1 inch XDR Retina display. It's an amazing display, the, uh, displays H very good HDR content and it's a, a very bright OLED display. The same that the iPhone 12 Pro Max has. But the iPhone 12 Pro features some defects and problems that were created when changing from the 11 Pro, which were battery life, it's the main point, and the worst cameras when compared to the Max model. The iPhone 12 Pro features 2800 mAh battery, the same as the iPhone 12, and the camera sensors are not the same as the iPhone 12 Pro Max, more like the same as the iPhone 12. So, it has been created a problem which is, I'm paying for a Pro model and I'm paying a thousand dollars for a model that it's not as much better than the iPhone 12, which is 839, and a little bit worse, and much, much more worse in theory than the $100 more expensive iPhone 12 Pro Max. So why would you go for the iPhone 12 Pro? Well, let me explain you. The iPhone 12 Pro in that time had two more gigabytes of RAM, had one more lens, and had the stainless steel design. Those were the three main points that you would spend $150 more from the iPhone 12. Well, the iPhone 12 also started at 64 gigabytes, while the iPhone 12 Pro started at 128. So it made sense because if you went for the iPhone 12 with 128 gigabytes, you would end up just wanting to spend $100 more. So I think that it's a good choice to, to go for the iPhone 12 Pro in 2020. But now that you are one month away from the iPhone 13 Pro, do not buy any iPhone. I'm telling you, just wait for the new iPhone event. But after that, it's not as easy to decide if you want the iPhone 13 Pro or the 12 Pro. Surely, when the iPhone 13 Pro comes out, the iPhone 12 Pro will be much, much more cheaper because, of course, it's an older phone. In my opinion, and I'm almost sure about it, the iPhone 12 Pro will be discontinued. But there will be a lot of third-party vendors that will sell it on a discount to sell the rest of the infantry, or you can buy it refurbished, which is, in my opinion, the best deal and probably will be able to buy for refurbishment from Apple, which is brand new. If you are undecided between the iPhone 12 Pro and 13 Pro, let me tell you, the differences between the 13 Pro and 12 Pro, I think that they are the biggest bit on the lineup because the iPhone 13 Pro will feature the same camera as the 13 Pro Max, which is different from the iPhone 12 Pro, which was a worse camera than the 12 Pro Max. So the, the 13 Pro Max will feature a much, much bigger sensor, much better ultra wide camera and we will have sensor shift technology also the cameras will be just good enough to have portrait video because of the a15 and will support prores so let's see if apple brings portrait video and prores to the iphone 12 pro because of the lidar sensor but i'm not sure and i think they won't because this is a main feature and a flagship feature for the iphone 12 13 pro but they are not only the cameras that are different. The display will see a huge upgrade too. You will be able to use your iPhone at 120Hz now. You will have an 120Hz LTPO variable refresh rate the screen on the iPhone 13 Pro, which the 12 Pro doesn't have. It only has an OLED display. So it only runs at 60Hz and cannot go down to save on battery life or go up to have very smooth scrolling. So it cannot adapt to your likings like watching a movie at 24 frames per second or scrolling at 120 on Twitter. So I think that the iPhone 13 Pro screen is a huge jump. 
One thing on the screen that's always going to be very noticeable to everyone will be the notch. The notch will be always smaller than the iPhone 12 Pro. So the 13 Pro will feature 120Hz LTPO display and a smaller notch. But it doesn't stop there. It will also have an always-on display, which is still huge. And I think the always-on display is a big difference that you might not want to skip out on. So these are a very big differences to to say that, oh, a $200 or even a $300 difference, it's justifiable. So in my opinion, you should go for the 13 Pro instead of the 12 Pro, even though you can find it uh, refurbished, for example, six, $700, $800 maybe, or buying used by $650. But uh, in my opinion, go for the 13 Pro, which is a better deal. And finally, the big problem that was created by the iPhone 12 Pro was the battery life size. And the iPhone 13 Pro will solve that because you will be able to have two 100 million powers more battery life so i think it will start at 3000 million pairs i'm not sure but let's see and i think that the iphone 13 pro it's a much better much better buy when it launches on september but what's your opinion do you have a 12 pro are you going to upgrade to the iphone 13 pro and do you think that these are very two similar devices or do you think this year is an s year or do you think this year will be a very huge upgrade are you upgrading are you not upgrading please leave a comment down below telling me that in your opinion and while you're there don't forget to leave a like don't forget to subscribe and follow me on twitter and instagram this was texmer talking to you here bye